Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, CEO and MD of Hangama, I'm going to give us a brief keynote on uh, marketing and distribution of film in the multi-platform ecosystem, what a treat for all of us. So without further ado, just let me speak a couple of words about Neeraj. He's been a CEO and MD of uh, Hangama, which is the Southeast Asia's largest content aggregator. But besides that, what a nice human being. And uh, uh, he is also like a part of board of uh, Mobile Entertainment Forum and uh, very well known across international community, mostly even in Western countries, about the work that he has done. And, uh, uh, very uh, has a good acumen for translating what Indian cinema, Indian in entertainment economy to the external audience as well. And uh, you can find his about it, uh, most of him is one of the 50 most influential person and a very good friend. So without further ado, I would like to Neeraj to come over here and uh, give us a keynote. 
Thank you very much, uh, Ravi, for that introduction and a very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, it's wonderful to be here in Bangalore and, uh, you know, to be amongst you all talking about uh, cinema, film, entertainment. I think we've had a fair dose of it in Bombay and to see the kind of cinema and the kind of entertainment that's happening all around this country and certainly, you know, Bangalore and, and, and the state of Karnataka has been at the forefront of that. So uh, I'd like to just start first with a warm welcome to all of you, uh, filmmakers, creators of content, etc. Aris, congratulations. Wonderful to be here. Uh, the topic at hand was, you know, slightly longish film marketing. I'm going to in the rest restrict this in the next 12, 13 minutes uh, since it's a, we're running behind schedule in any case. Uh, to just give a, a little sneak peek into the way uh, one sees this entire space of our, uh, quick 30 second on us as a company. We're, we're a digital media company, been around now for about 14 years, uh, working with almost three, 400 original content owners and across 47 countries have built a digital distribution network, which is across mobile, internet, DTH, and IPTV services, uh, reaching uh, almost about 2 billion consumers. <laughs> so what do we say about a, a, a product which is created, which takes 12 to 24 months uh, in creation, and you know, your entire sort of uh, work in creativity is expected to be uh, measured, uh, or whatever you may choose to call it, in a matter of three days. That's the, that's the reality of the kind of uh, world we are living in today, wherein you know, a film can take anything from as little as a time, six months, to as much as two years, three years, and yet its fate is decided over one weekend. And this is what makes the entire component of uh, anything to do with media and entertainment, uh, the aspect of communication, the aspect of cajoling consumers and arousing interest in them, for them to come across and, and get a sneak peek on any of the screens that they are interested in, becomes very critical. We have for far too long, and, and a lot of it has been changing in the last couple of years in India, but we've we end up spending so much in the production itself that by the time we're releasing our films, you know, uh, we don't necessarily, we've not necessarily thought through the marketing. Internationally, uh, it's a well-known fact that, you know, for certain types of cinema, 25, 30% of a production is spent towards marketing, and it can, in instances, even go up to 100, 150% dependent on how the film is and how the film fares as momentum as such. So let's, you know, really look at what are we dealing with in, in, this, in this sort of environment of multiple screens and, and choices that consumers have. Most of us tend to be making our cinema for that younger generation, which is, uh, you know, I mean, if I were to take an example of my eight and a half year old daughter, one of the most fickle, uh, disloyal consumers uh, that you could ever have. And to them, how do you sort of appeal the, the content that you're putting together? So interestingly in India, even though we are a 1.2, 1.25 billion uh, people, it's estimated that, you know, actual cinema going audience at any given point in time is not more than about 35, 40 million at best, which is like 2-3% of our entire population. And the math here is, if I were to look at, say take a film like Chennai Express, which has been the highest grosser, uh, at its aggregate receipt, uh, including taxes, would have probably grossed about say 350 crores or thereabouts. And if this was done on an average ticket price of say about 100 rupees, that's effectively 35 million people uh, saw this film which, when you look at it, is, uh, you know, hardly about uh, two and a half, three percent of our population. You do the same comparative in, in the West. Uh, a top-crossing film makes about almost a little over a billion dollars, at an average of about ticket price of seven, seven and a half dollars or so. You're talking of, in just the domestic market of the U.S. with 300 million consumers, as much as 130, 140 million people who have sort of seen it. And I think this is important. And this perhaps also sets the pace for the other screens as well for us to look at. And that's, we have at the end of the day only about 1300 screens. But the interesting thing that we are dealing with today is you're dealing with 160 million community which is online. It's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it feels extremely empowered, it has an opinion. 
uh, you know, they are one little message of 140 characters, uh, and there goes, you know, one years of creativity uh, down the drain. And these numbers are growing. These numbers will be closer to 600 million in the next four years or so. We also have roughly about, you know, give or take 30, 40 million, about 600 to 650 million unique consumers in India, which is roughly half of the market, uh, country's population has mobile phones. And they have access to, uh, you know, they get information, they get alerts, they get opinions on, on cinema, on content, on a television show. And that's the kind of world that we are beginning to sort of, you know, lead in. In the midst of this, there are 798 uh, TV channels. Uh, we have about 60 plus news channels. Some of us would believe our news channels are as much as entertainment channels because they have as much as six hours of entertainment programming in them. Even the kind of programming that they do. So you are, as a creator of content, competing with all of this. And this is the world that we are sort of living in. And to top it all, we make about 1,000 films across different regions, whether it is in here in Karnatak, it's in Tamil Nadu, it's the Telugu cinema, it's, it's Indian cinema, it's, it's Punjabi, Gujarati, Bengali. You know, in the last 15 years, as we have seen the, in fact, I have a theory on this, which is if you go back to 1989, was the first time when the Mandal Commission, in a sense, happened. And since then, the last 20 years, we've seen the, the entire disaggregation of Indian polity. And a lot of it is linked to, as you find regional sort of media moving to local markets and doing that. And at the end of the day, only 52 weeks to make or break this entire journey. So what are we you know, dealing with here when you are in the process of uh, looking at uh, options for promoting of, and I've just put films there, but it could be very true for television, it could be very true for almost any form of content that you do. We do the traditional television, but I don't think we necessarily think this through. I think at times, as a filmmaker, you're very clear on who you are making your film for. You really need to be true to yourself to figure out, is your audience really on that network? And in most cases, it still is, but in some, it may not be. So, you, know, you need to sort of, you know, but there is a lot of innovation that's already been witnessed in the last two, three years. Some of the larger films are doing cross promotions with brands, etc., cetera, and, uh, as well as shows. The internet and mobile is becoming a very, very critical one, and I'm going to spend some more time on this, so I'll, I'll, I'll let this be. Print has been the conventional form of how we got to know of, you know, we used to pick up the paper, we used to find out where a film is, uh, is uh, you know, uh, being screened, what were the shows, etc., and therefore still continues to be a big ally in the marketing process. Retail is becoming more and more uh, a medium for experiences which are in the entertainment space and therefore you're finding a lot of alliances there and for some of the larger films merchandising is becoming an option uh, uh, as well. Cinema to cinema obviously makes sense. Uh, I am here, I am a Rajni fan and, and therefore you know this is the one which is coming up next and I will look for it. And radio uh, without a doubt uh, because I Indian cinema, the first look of Indian cinema is always like a promo which is like a music as such, you know. And I've said this many a times, we don't listen to our music, we actually watch it. We are one of those rare markets where you watch music. So radio plays a very crucial sort of role in, in the discovery of this. Uh, and I'm sure in our panel, you know, Rachna will have a, a lots to talk about that as well. So this is the kind of milieu, and uh, I thought it best to make this conversation, since it was just 15 minutes, uh, to probably take one case study and show that to you in, in its entirety of how it's panned out, uh, and then I'm sure we'll have the conversation in the panel a little later. So let me, you know, first play out a, a video which I put out for you uh, from a man uh, who one has had deep, deep admiration for, uh, and him in one of those rare occasions where he's talking about movie marketing. So let me, you know, let me sort of hopefully this will play out. Can we get the audience? opportunities of technology are huge for content owners, in my opinion. Uh, they always have been. And as an example, the way that we market movies is undergoing a radical shift. It used to be that you spent a fortune running advertising on TV to run your trailers. 
And now we can reach that same audience much more effectively on the web through whether it's Facebook, through whether it's targeting, uh, targeted uh, communication with, with, with the loyalty groups, whatever it might be. You know, when we went to the music companies, we said, who is your customer? And they said, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, Best Buy and Target and what was the record? Tower. Tower Records, that was it. And Tower Records, they thought their distribution channel was their customer. You know, in the same way that uh, uh, people making movies might think that your movie houses are their customer, but they're not. Their customer is the viewer, just as the music company's customer was the listener. The music companies had no connection with their listeners whatsoever. And so what changed in the music industry was not the back end of the business, the A&R, the seeking out and developing of artists and talent, and talent over, you know, which is just as important now as it ever was. What changed was the front end of the business, the distribution and marketing became uh, was able to be done in a much more effective way, uh, bypassing the distribution channel and going direct to the end user. And that's what's going to happen uh, in, in visual media as well. And the marketing is going to get a lot more interesting, more precise, cheaper, uh, efficient, and, but the content is going to be just as valuable, if not more valuable in the future. So what, what the studios need to do is not uh, is to embrace this new front end of the business, to start knowing who their customers are, and to start building mechanisms to communicate with them, and tell them when their new their new product is coming out, and also to let them watch it wherever they want, whenever they want. And, and when do you think that'll happen? I'm just curious because you know, it's starting to happen now in television. Because people, the studios feel, same guys, right, that make movies and TVs, shows, uh, they feel less protective or they're more, they're more willing to experiment with their television properties than they are their film properties, so you're starting to see it in television. You can get TV shows now, in some cases for free, the day after they're broadcast. In some cases, in our case, we sell them the day after they're broadcast. And you're starting to see it more and more with, 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 with film, too. So I think that is changing a lot in the next 24 months. Okay. Um, I even think there's going to be a way to watch it. In the interest of time, after that sort of reverence uh, talk, I shall skip my video with Shah Khan and all of that and what we've done. I think it's, it's apt and I'll sort of skitch, skip to uh, the, the examples at hand uh, to, to give you a little sense on... Uh, I think, you know, uh, just, just to draw a point here, as, as people in media, we should never forget the fact that what digital media does to you is uh, it gives an ability to have a direct and ongoing sort of connect with consumers. We run a digital agency as well, and I've been saying this to my uh, clients, uh, which are consumer brands, for the last eight, nine years, that, you know, digital media changes everything. It makes Unilever a media company. When people come to me and say, you know what, I have a seven million community on Facebook, and I say, all right, and so when you put a post, how many people actually commented on it? And they'll say 782. I said, I'm sorry, that's not a community. You need far more engagement. But yes, you've got the foundation of a community if you can engage with this community on an ongoing basis and take this entire engagement into something a lot more sort of interactive. So that's the potential that we are sitting on right now. I'm going to switch to, to sh sharing with you some examples of things that we've done. And I just picked up one, you know, which is relevant right now to, to just give you a, a spread of activities uh, that have been built around this. Uh, there'll be a fair focus on it in a digital sense, but I'll, I'll try and drop on. So Chris uh, moves into... It actually moves into its third, and this is really the formation of uh, him into a complete superhero as such. Uh, we started work with the studio Filmcraft almost about 17, 18 months back, and actually it was the first of its kind partnership wherein anything that they would do in digital needed to be something that, you know, 
we were involved in, in, in trying to put that piece together. And there are close to about 20 such partnerships and alliances that we've put together. And I'll, I'll share with you some examples of that in, in, uh, in a bit. So starting with, you know, just a range of, uh, obviously you do, you know, the website and, and, and what you work around. Uh, we've engaged with them across uh, uh, different uh, media, you know, be it YouTube, be it uh, Facebook, etc. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples of things that we've done. So, so, uh, big, big sort of launch started by taking Rithik actually to the Facebook headquarters in Hyderabad. And that's where we got into an interactive chat and we opened up uh, his first look of a motion poster. Now, by doing that, what we realized was that we were not just addressing a local Indian uh, market, but we were already getting a global canvas. And the film was the size and scale that it sort of required something of this nature. We were conscious that they, the studio was looking at distribution into at least 20 new markets. And therefore, we did some targeting to be able to create interest in those markets as well. Huge hit. Uh, across uh, various forms of media. Just that one event itself led to 168 uh, media releases in, in the way the entire engagement sort of, you know, took forward. We then, you know, uh, unfolded a game around uh, this entire thing, and I'm just going to play out uh, briefly a little, if I can get the audio here. <laughs> 